All right, this has to be a 20 second question. It all just comes down to understanding what the words positive and solution mean. When we have uh, these factors, right? The solutions are basically the x-intercepts if we didn't have it equal to zero and just had it equal to y. But more specifically, the whole reason we get it equal to zero is so that we can treat each of, each of these factors individually and say, okay, if there's a mini equation where x plus two is equal to zero, then what would be the value of x that would make that work? Well, that's negative two. And then we did the same thing for the others. We should be able to do this really fast, right? This would be x equals five. This would be x equals negative nine, right? So which of those is positive? Five, done, right? So the reason this is so important is this comes up in all sorts of places in math. The, the one issue I feel is that we don't, we learn this as an x-intercept thing, right? Why do we factor polynomials, quadratics? We do it to get the x-intercepts. But then there's so many words that kind of refer back to that same principle. We can call them roots. We can call them zeros. And yes, when we have them equal to zero, we can call them solutions. And so they're all kind of the same thing. We're not gonna foil this thing out. We're just gonna let it sit as is because it's in that factored form already. That's the form we want when we're talking about solutions. So that's the key is you've gotta know as soon as they ask that, you have everything you need. It's just about reading the equation. Um, if you wanted to, you could plug this into Desmos. Uh, and because it's equal to zero and not equal to y, this is not gonna look like a, a curve. It's going to just look like three straight lines. And those vertical lines are the solutions. And again, you can kind of see one of them is at um, negative nine. It doesn't, I can't tap it for some reason, but one of them is at five, right? It's right there. So the only one that's in the positive is five, that's it. So you just got to be able to recognize the good vocabulary words when you see them. This is giving you this question. This is just like a gimme. So technically it's supposed to be hard, right? It's, it's number 18, but I think it's only hard if you've never taken like algebra two or something like that. And you just don't know that vocabulary. If you have taken algebra two and you still looked at this and were like, I don't even know what they're talking about. You need to do some studying. Again, this needs to be a 20 second question because it's going to get way harder in that next module. And we need to understand how the number zero plays into this too, because it's gonna even come up later in a question in this module. So all of this stuff, really important. And if you're having trouble now, you're gonna have a lot of trouble when it gets crazier in the harder questions.